hey guys welcome back in today's video we will be covering about uh, data view functions and specifically uh, we will be covering the pattern matching the different capabilities of data view 2.0 for pattern matching we will be covering in this particular video so to start with uh, as you can see uh, this is my endpoint studio 760 and i am on mule 430 version of mule runtime and I have just drag and drop this transform message onto this canvas and rename this particular flow with pattern matching because most of our discussion will remain on pattern matching only. So the first example is for pattern matching on literal values. So when I say literal values, it, it, it means like um, within the combination of a string and a particular message, it could be a number or any a particular number uh, against it. So it is just the literal values. Now, if we go to the uh, output application JSON uh, after this particular header, you can see a couple of uh, cases which I have written. So, uh, A, A is like my input where dot string, that is this particular string element. If it matches with any of these, then print these values. That is match if there is a case and uh, case first in which if the my input dot string is matching with this particular uh, string then it will return true and if it uh, checks for the other string it returns false so it is the first case and it is returning true over here you can you can see now in the second element of this particular json i am checking in a different format uh, just putting a str and colon and just matching uh, if if it is equal to uh, this particular string then it will put matches as true and value as the string that is this particular value is being uh, assigned from here okay and uh, let's suppose i have changed this to the other string okay so what what it is going to do somehow it is giving me some error let's see okay this is for the tooling agent let me restart the tooling agent how to restart it uh, i need to go to the preferences and search for tooling and i will uh, restart the instance In the bottom right hand side you can see restarting tooling instance uh, that uh, this is being loading so i will just apply and close i think we should be pretty much good but somehow it is giving me error so what i will do i will close this project and uh, try to reload it again I am opening this uh, project once again. Going back to pattern matching and literal values. Going to preview. It is taking its own time to load the preview. So here you can see now this time when I have changed the uh, input it is going for the second string that is this particular case is matched and it is returning false for A and for B it is matching this particular case and str is being assigned with this particular value and matches as false and the value is being assigned. So this was about the literal values. Let's go quickly to the next uh, uh, combination for pattern matching on expressions. So when I say expressions, uh, what I'm going to do over here, I am having uh, where my input as one of the variable in which I am having two different uh, uh, messages or, or you can say the elements, a string with uh, one particular string value and a number with a number value. Now I am putting two different uh, elements in the output A and B in which uh, a is matching with the my input dot string that is this particular value and it is checking if the string is equal to 
the input this and then it will append uh, this particular along with this uh, string so which is it is doing uh, perfectly fine and if it is not matching then uh, it will check if this is matching with this another set of uh, string message if yes then it will append the uh, this particular string along with it now uh, going for the second element uh, it is going to match this number and it is saying if it is equal to 3 then it is it is going to print equal otherwise if it is greater than it is put it will uh, give an output of greater than and it is giving the same let me quickly change the values over here and maybe here as well so you can see on the right hand side it is it is changing dynamically so this was about pattern matching on the expressions let's go to the next uh, uh, combination that is on the data types let me open the preview so here my variable uh, my input is having two different uh, elements in it element a is an array containing a particular string and a number and uh, the uh, second element is having a boolean value now i am having two uh, uh, elements in the output a and b which is going to check for uh, these input elements a and b for uh, the first element it is checking if uh, the uh, the uh, element a is an array then it is going to print array otherwise if it is an object it is going to print object string and uh, accordingly so what i'm going to do let me change uh, this thing to a mere string and let's see what happens so on the right hand side you can see it is quickly getting changed to string similarly if i am going to change this particular value to let's say 2 then it changes the type uh, as number and the value as 2 so how it is uh, taking uh, care in the second element it is like uh, now it is matching for the number this one uh, case is getting satisfied okay now the type is being considered as a number and the value y it is being assigned and the y is being taken out as the value okay so this was about uh, this uh, pattern matching on data type let's go to the next set of combination that is on the regular expression so some other time what happened uh, we need to validate a particular format or a string whether it is complying uh, whether it is complying with a particular pattern for uh, phone numbers so there are many uh, many uh, i must say the uh, regex uh, finder are available and let me quickly show you one of the example so here here like this is like one of the uh, case in which uh, you can you can uh, try it out the different regex okay so it also gives a lot many other uh, combinations like if you want to uh, check something mm, so here it goes it is giving a lot many combinations like um, like how to create the regex so this is just just a uh, pointer to create the regex but i have created a similar one for these phone number combinations so I have displayed these phone numbers in two different formats, starting with plus one and then in brackets, then space and then hyphen and the other one without the plus one sign. So accordingly, the regex is going to change. So let me expand this. So uh, how it is going to happen? So for the first part, let's consider the first part. So phones, uh, it is going to read this complete array. It is going to match if the phone matches with this particular uh, format. That is, it is starting with some uh, plus number and after that there is a space. Then it starts with a um, brackets. Then there is a space and then there is a hyphen between the two numbers. If that is the case, then it is going to print the uh, the country the phone number that is the plus one that is this particular value it is going to print the zeroth will be plus so it is going to print the first one that is the one uh, it is printing over here 
now the second is about it is starting with brackets that is it is considered this one and it is going to print the area as the first uh, occurrence uh, that is this one okay and after that it is going to check check for this phone tool which is it is uh, printing in the second uh, 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 as an array now in the uh, element b again we are following the same pattern uh, it starts with a uh, plus sign that is it is going to follow this one okay but here uh, we will be putting country and after that phone 2 as uh, this particular line and the third one as this one uh, this particular entire value similarly for the second uh, it is going to start with brackets so it is going to fall in this particular case and the first one will be the 647 uh, uh, removing the um, bracket sign so it will read this as the first and this entire string as the second and it is going to print the same on the right hand side so this was uh, a bit on the uh, how to do the pattern matching on regular expression level i hope you like uh, these four uh, combinations of pattern matching using data view 2.2 and uh, uh, thanks for watching and have a great day ahead thank you